Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how we can implement our insert method for our binary heap. So to get started, we're gonna be implementing the insert method for our minimum heap. And once you know how to implement it for a minimum heap, you should pretty much understand how to implement it for a maximum heap. So we're going to start with our private data members. We have our heap, which is going to be the array we store our data in. Our heap size is gonna be used for multiple things. It's gonna be used to keep track of the number of elements within our array, and it's gonna be used to make sure we have enough space to insert. It's also gonna be used to insert at the last available position within our array. And our array size is obviously gonna be the size of our array. Moving on, we're gonna have six helper methods. Our get left child method is going to generate the left child index of the index we pass in. Our get right child method is going to generate the right child index of the index we pass in. And our get parent method is going to give us the parent index of the index that we pass in. Our next method is going to be a simple swap method. We take in two indices and we just swap the data between those indices. So this is gonna be used when we swap data between the child and parent nodes when we go to heapify our tree. Next, we have our has right and has left, which is just gonna return true or false on whether or not a node has a left or right child. Moving on to our one argument constructor, we get passed in size, which is the size of our array. We then use that size to dynamically create our array we then set our heap size to zero, since there are zero elements within our array. And we initialize our array size to the size that was passed in. Now our insert method gets passed in the data we wanna insert. We first check to see if we have enough space to insert, and if we don't, we just return. If we reach our else statement, that means we can insert. So the first thing we do is increment our heap size since we're inserting data into our heap. So remember, we always insert data within our heap from top to bottom, left to right. It has to be a complete tree. So we insert the data at the last available position here. And once we do that, we need to heapify our tree. So we call our heapify up method, passing in the position of the data that we just inserted. Looking at our heapify up method, we get passed in the index of the last node within our heap. We check to see if the index does not equal to zero, because if it is equal to zero, that means we're dealing with the root node. So there's nothing to be heapified. So if it doesn't equal to zero, we get the index of the parent of the node we're currently at. We check to see if the data of the parent node is greater than the data of the child node. And if it is, we just swap the data and we make a recursive call passing the parent index. So we're effectively going to keep doing this until we reach the root node. All right, so let's take a look at our insert method in action. So our main function first creates our heap. We then insert 10 into our heap. And we're gonna be using a stack just to trace everything. So let's push this on top of the stack. Now we check to see if we have enough room to insert. We do, so we move on to the else statement increment the heap size because we're inserting a new element, insert the data at the last available position within our heap, and then we invoke our heapify up method, passing in the index of the node we just inserted. So that gets pushed on top of the stack. Now we're inside our heapify up method. We check to see if index does not equal to zero. In this case, this fails the test. So we're done executing our heapify up method so we could pop this off the stack and get returned to our insert method. Our insert method has finished executing, so we could pop this off the stack. And this notifies our main function that our insert method has finished executing, so we could pop this off the stack and continue executing the rest of the code within our main function. Inserting five now, so we could push this onto the stack. We check to see if there's enough space to insert, we do, so we move on to our else statement. We increment the size because we're inserting data within our heap. We then insert the data at the last available position within our heap. And then we just call our heapify up method, passing in the position of the node we just inserted. 
So we just push this on top of the stack. Now within our heapify up method, we check to see if the index does not equal to zero. It doesn't, so we just execute our if statement. Now we get our parent of the node we just inserted, and we check to see if the parent is larger than the data that we just inserted. In this case, it is, so we swap. And then we make a recursive call to our heapify up method, so we push this on top of the stack. Now we're back within our heapify up method once again. Is index not equal to zero? No, it is equal to zero in this case. So this heapify up method is done executing. So we could pop this off the stack. We return to the previous heapify up method, and this has also finished executing. So we could pop this off the stack as well. We then return to our insert method, which has now finished executing. So this gets popped off the stack. And finally, our main function gets notified that our insert method has finished executing. So we could pop this off the stack as well. Moving on, we insert three now. So we push this on top of the stack. We check to see if we have enough room to insert. We do. So we move on to our else statement. First, we increment our heap size since we're inserting data within our heap. We then insert the data at the last available position within our heap. And then we call our heapify up method, passing in the index of the node we just inserted. So we push this on top of the stack. We check to see if index does not equal to zero. It is, so we get the parent of the node we're currently at. We check to see if the parent is greater than the child. In this case, it is. So we swap the data between the parent and the child and we recursively call our heapify up method. So we push this on top of the stack. Once again, we check to see if index does not equal to zero. In this case, this fails. So we're done executing our heapify up method. So we could pop this off the stack. We return to our previous heapify up method. And this also has finished executing. So we could pop this off the stack as well. We now return to our insert method, which has also finished executing. So we could pop this off the stack. And finally, we return to our main function, which gets notified that our insert method has finished executing. So we could pop this off the stack as well. And finally, we move on to our last insert. So from our main function, we call our insert method. So that gets pushed on top of the stack. Now within our insert method, we check to see if there's room within our heap. There is, so we move on to our else statement. We now increment our heap size since we're inserting data. Now we insert the data within the last available position within our heap. And now we invoke our heapify up method, passing in the position of the node we just inserted. So let's push this on top of the stack. So we check to see if the index does not equal to zero. It is, so we continue to execute our if statement. We get the parent of the node that we're currently at. And now we test to see if the parent's data is greater than the data of the child. It is. So now we swap the data between the two nodes. And now we recursively call our heapify up method. So we could push this on top of the stack. Once again, executing our heapify up method once more, we check to see if the index does not equal to zero. It's not. So we execute our if statement once more. We get the parent of the node we're currently at. And we get to check to see if the parent is greater than the child node. In this case, it is. So we swap between the parent and the child. And we recursively call our heapify up method once again, pushing this on top of the stack. Now we check to see if index does not equal to zero, but it is. So this if statement does not execute. And we're done executing this heapify up method. So we could pop this off the stack. We return to our previous heapify up method which has now also finished executing. So we could pop this off the stack as well. We return to our previous heapify up method for the last time, which has also finished executing. So this gets popped off the stack as well. Now we return to our insert method, which has finished executing. So this gets popped off the stack. And finally, our main function gets notified that our insert method has finished executing. So we could pop this off the stack as well. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. 
And in the upcoming tutorials, we're going to be talking about how we could delete a node from within our heap.